following has been developed by state and provincial agencies in association with the Agency for Instructional Technology. Together, serving education. Style. What a mess I got myself into that day. You know what got me out? Tables. Coach was always making them. He depended on them. Above. Running in the same direction as the balance beam. He'd put one value. Like time. Let's say the weeks in March. On the side of the paper. He'd maybe put the things he was rating us on. Strength, flexibility, and virtuosity, which means overall performance. That way, you could see patterns in our work from week to week. Point out any weaknesses. <clears throat> Not that I had any. Show progress. Always va 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 voom in my case, and tell the world about it. Of course, I was already telling the world. Watch out for Jill. Each table needed a title so the coach could look and right away know what the table showed. It was Saturday, the first Saturday in March. A few of us were warming up for a little meet that afternoon. I was working on my dismounts. Nice, huh? Now, you'd think someone so graceful could never goof up, right? Well, for me, the bad news started out looking like good news. Hello? Yeah? Terrific. Good news, girls. I just spoke to the superintendent. He's setting aside funds for us. We're going to the state championships this year. I have to go to his house right now and sign the papers before he changes his mind. And the bad news is that while I'm gone, your rotating captain for this afternoon's meet will be Jill. Oh, no! Not Jill! Keep warming up, girls. Me? Way to go, Captain! Me? Captain? Thanks, Coach! You okay? Nothing serious. That's the ankle you injured last year. Yeah. You shouldn't compete today, should you? Here I am, captain for 30 seconds, and I'm already sending myself to the showers. We're shorthanded already. How are we going to replace you? Can't. I'm one in a zillion. I know it's impossible. But we have to try. Make some calls. Question is, who do we call? We don't have much time. Maybe the coaches' tables can help us. Maybe they can. Were you surprised that tables are used in gymnastics? Tables are a world-class tool. Jill and her friend are going to use the tables to compare gymnasts and help them decide who should replace her. You'll find tables any place where people need to organize information, see relationships between data, and make that data more accessible. You can use tables to see patterns and help you make decisions. That's what Jill and Alice are going to do in the story you're watching. They have a limited amount of time, and they have to decide how to spend it. Tables can also help you with decisions about spending money. What if you had a secret weakness for that enemy of all gymnasts and clean livers, donuts? This table would tell you the cost of your weakness, the cost in dollars and cents at least. And here's how to use the table. First, the title, price of donuts. What's up top? Quantity. Want three donuts? Use this column. Want plain donuts? Use this row. See where plain intersects with three, and you'll know you need 80 cents for three plain donuts. 
want three fancy donuts? Can you do it by yourself by now? Three fancy donuts will set you back $1.10. Let's say you have only 80 cents to spend. Will you use it to buy two fancy or three plain donuts? Your call. I wonder what Jill's game plan will be. It's okay. It's not even swollen. Thanks. Amazing what an ace bandage will do. I feel all better. Really? You do not. You just can't make any sense out of these tables. Sure I can. Sort of. These are all individual reports on individual girls. I need a way to compare girls. Well, make your own table. You make it. You're the captain. Okay, all right. I can pull this off. Coach's tables are pretty much the same. Let's look at a couple other tables. There are lots around school. I'll go. You'd better stay off that foot. Okay, check them out. You can be like a detective, collecting clues. We'll see what Alice's detective work teaches her about tables and how useful tables can be when they're really clear. Real-life detectives use tables, too. At police headquarters in New York City, Detective Larry Stella uses a computer program to organize information on robberies. How does a computer communicate with the police? It makes tables for them. Here's some advice from Detective Stella. If any of you are looking to become a detective, you'll have to understand how to read tables that are given to you, and you'll have to also know how to create them so that other people can understand what these tables uh, have to say. Bob, you know, I need your help. I'm looking for a blue Chevrolet out of Yonkers. These tables define for me different pieces of information about crimes. We're looking for something unique on the table that it will match up several crimes with each other. Uh, each line on the table represents all the pertinent information about that particular crime. By going down the side of the table, we can determine what precincts each crime has occurred in, and uh, then you read across, you'll see what kind of premise was robbed, what kind of weapon, uh, and a physical description of the people that committed the crime. If I look at five or six different crimes, and there are three or four things in common on that table for each of those cases, it tells me that there's a very good chance that this pattern of crimes was done by the same individuals. We use patterns to help us decide where crimes are occurring and they could possibly predict where and when the next crime is going to occur, or once we've caught someone in the act of committing a crime, we can look back into the past and determine what other crimes he may have done. I like to tell them that I have a list of what I think he's done. And if he would like to just point out the ones he didn't do, it would be very helpful to me. And this method of interrogation really seems to work. Did you ever imagine a detective carrying a table as well as a gun? Well, now you know. A table can be a powerful weapon for analyzing the past and predicting the future. Where's Alice's detective work leading her? Okay, I know the coach's tables. They show relationships and patterns. Here's another table I know. I use this table all the time, but I never thought much about how it works. Here's my regular bus, the 101. I live on Jackson Street, so I know I'll be home around 3.30. If I leave late on the 105 bus, I call mom and tell her to hide the junk food before I get home at 4.10. Now I'm understanding how these tables work. I have to keep warmed up for the meet. Now, let's see. Hmm. No, this table isn't any clearer upside down than it is right side up. Wait a minute now. I'm catching on to this. Each table has a title. That's important. Assignment of Classroom Chores, March. Now on the top, there's one value or measure. Days of the week in this case. On the side goes another part, the chores. Then the kids' names go in the boxes so they'll know what their jobs are. Let's start with a row. Now if I were a fish and today were Monday, I'd see Louisa 
and I'd know I'd better be nice to her if I wanted to get fed today. If I were Billy, I'd want to be sure not to wear a dark sweater on Fridays, or I'd get full of chalk dust when I clean the erasers. And if I were the teacher on Friday afternoon, or today, Saturday, I could use the table to look back and find out who was responsible for my erasers being. Clean. Good work, Billy. Coach? For a sec, I thought you were coach. I was hoping you were. I feel much better. I can compete today. You cannot. At the very least, you need a replacement. Come on. Okay, I'm ready to call someone. But who? The table we need to make compares girls to one another. We'll use it to pick your replacement. Okay. Here are the individual tables of girls who aren't here, mostly younger girls. Well, we're going to boil them down onto one paper, okay? First, a title. Comparison of possible replacement gymnasts. Comparison in what area? Better make it in your specialty. Vanity. I mean, in virtuosity. To help them choose a replacement for Jill, the girls are making a table that compares scores in virtuosity for the month of February. Like all good tables, this one needs to include a title, clear labels, one set of information across the page, and another down the side of the page. On the left, we list the names of girls not here, because anyone who's here couldn't replace you because they're already competing. Without you, the team won't be at full strength. That's for sure. Give it up. Anyway, each of these girls has an individual table with ratings for February. Uh, read me Mary's scores. First week, 8.2. Second week, 8.4. Third week, 8.1. Fourth week, 8.0. Fourth week, 8.5. It's pretty clear, now that we have the ratings arranged next to each other. My buddy Cindy's got the highest scores. That's one pattern. The other pattern is that her scores have gone up and up and up. She's been improving every week. There's one other thing going for her. She's compact, like me. All great gymnasts star. Petite. That mouth is petite? Easy. Let's go call Cindy. Remember, I'm hurt. I may be the world's greatest gymnast, but you get the gold medal in making tables, good at titles, labeling info, and putting in what's being measured. There's something our table's left out, like availability. No answer? No, we're sunk. Cindy? Hi, girls. I met Cindy walking over here. I wanted to watch the meet. For you, no watching's allowed. We have an impossible job for you. Uh-oh. Replacing Ms. Modesty here. But we know you're up to it. Our table says so. What's going on here? I'll explain, because it's all on paper. Meanwhile, Cindy, let's get you unwrapped and warmed up for the meet. From the way things look, you'll be competing today. You game? Sure. And so it was that a future champ was added to the team. Coach was so happy he used even more tables and he let Alice and me make some for him. Fortunately, we still found time to fly. We love to fly. MathWorks is a component of the Mathematics for the 80s project and is supported in part by Exxon Education Foundation. This program is produced by Peter Barton under the supervision of the Agency for Instructional Technology.